Hi, this is Aaron with Zolo Tag. Today I'm going to show you how to install OS X onto a Dell Mini 9 netbook. The first thing you're going to need is an OS X install DVD. It can be 10.5.5 or 10.5.6, but it has to be the retail DVD for this to work cor er, correctly. The next thing you're going to need is a USB key. A small one is fine. That's going to be your, your boot. As you see, it says Dell boot. The next thing you're going to need is an 8 gig USB thumb drive or thumb drive for the Dell boot, but it has to be 8 gigs or larger, or you can use an external hard drive with USB. That's what I did. Um, in my case, I used a 40 gig Toshiba external drive. <clears throat> um, had some problems with that, so I used a 160 gig drive. One partition, you can have multiple. One just makes it easier. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the Dell forums, and I'll provide the link here. Scroll down to Section 2, and you need Sys Linux. Click that, download it. I've already done that before. You're going to need the Dell Mini Boot, and you're going to grab the version you need based on which install DVD you have. In this case, we have 10.5.5. We're going to download that. We also need the Dell EFI, but we won't need that until later. So now that we have those, let's get our USB keys ready. This is actually the Dell Boot Mini 9 boot thing that we downloaded just a moment again, or a moment ago rather. So what we're going to do is go into the disk utility, and here we have the small USB key. You can see it's 501 megabytes. It's fine. It really doesn't take up much space. What you want to do is go to erase. Make sure it's one partition, but go to erase. You want to format it in MS-DOS FAT. Once you've got that done, you're all set, it's formatted, we'll go to the next step. The next step is to prep the other USB key. In this case it's only a gig, that's not big enough, like I said you need an uh, 8 gig or larger or a hard drive, but this is just to show you how to do this. So here you can partition it, however you like. The important thing is under erase you want OS, Mac OS extended, journaled or non-journaled is fine, as long as it installs the HFS file system, you're good, or formats it in that. I just named it OS X install to make it easy. Once that's done, what you do is you hit restore. And as you can see, this is already set up, but what you want to do is you've got your OS X install DVD. That's going to be your source. All you do is click, click and drag right here, and the OS X install USB drive is your destination. You click Restore, and it actually will load the image directly off the DVD onto the thumb drive or your hard drive. That's going to take you about 40 minutes, depending on your drive speed. That's what it took me, give or take. I'm on newer uh, Macs. This is actually a newer aluminum MacBook, like you've seen in other videos. Um, and that's, you know, it took me about 40 minutes. So once you've got those ready, you can let that run. What you need to do is this Dell boot drive. It's already got the files, but just to show you, the download we did earlier opened as CD-ROM. Just simply select them, copy and paste. And those are really slow drives. I'm not, I'll just cancel it. <clears throat> um, but just to give you an idea, you're just going to copy and paste that. Once that's done, now you need the Windows computer. You can have a separate computer. In my case, I'm using VMware Fusion. You could use Parallels, whatever you want. So what you want is, if you remember earlier, we downloaded SysLinux. And I'll show you that here. Downloads. <clears throat> Here's SysLinux. And let's go to Downloads. SysLinux. We'll put it on the desktop to make it easier for VMware. And, oh, I already have it here. Here's VMware Fusion again. And let's refresh. There we go. Here's SysLinux. Start my computer. You've got your C drive. You want to copy SysLinux to the C drive. To the root makes it easiest. You, don't, you can put it wherever you want, but it makes it easier later on when we're using DOS or the command prompt. So in this case, I need to connect the USB drive do that, and 
the USB drive that we need is the boot drive, the Dell boot that I made earlier. I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in because it doesn't recognize right away. So then we're going to go to my computer, and here's Dell boot. We need to know which drive it is. In this case, it's the F drive. And if you go into it, you can see the files we've copied over. So the next thing we need to do is go start, then run, type CMD for command, and there's our command prompt. CD backslash brings you back to the C prompt. DIR is for directory. In this case, we want to go into syslinux-3. So CD space syslinux-3, enter. Now we want to go into our Win32 folder, CD space Win32, enter. And again, these are posted, all of these commands are posted right here on that website that I gave you earlier. Now that we've got that, in here we see there's syslinux.exe. We're going to type syslinux.exe space dash ma space in your drive letter. If it's E, you know, D, E, F, whatever. In this case, it's F, colon, hit enter. Takes a moment, comes back, and that's it. You're ready to go to start the boot on the uh, Dell Mini 9. And we'll show you that in just okay, a Okay, so here we are. You can see the camera in the picture. Uh, I have my USB flash drive ready to go. I'm actually using a hard drive on this side, as we showed you before, but you can use a flash drive. The hard drive goes on the right, so we plug that in. The flash drive with the bootloader goes on the left, and we turn the power on. When this boots up, you'll see this. It takes a second. You want to hit zero. Um, there we go. You're going to want to hit zero. And what that does is allows me to ch choose what I want. I'm going to pick a USB storage. And now it's loading off the bootloader on this side. and it does take a moment so what you do here is you hit escape then it says you're going to type a device you're going to hit 81 uh... actually yeah 81 it says macintosh hard drive actually this is not what we want let's try 82 because i already have os 10 installed okay we'll try 80 Uh, we'll do 8.1 just to show you. Well, what you do is you'll hit 8.1. We'll boot off the hard drive. It'll pop up like this. This is the Apple signal outside, although you can't see it. And it is loading. And let's see if we can get the, uh, the white balance here down. Okay, I'm going to adjust my settings. I'll be right back so you can see okay so I'm back um, normally what you would get is the install once you've done the install you need to format the hard drive you actually have to do it in uh, can't think of the mode off the top of my head uh, but it'll, it's actually in the instructions once you have that formatted that way it'll bring you into OS 10 what you need to do is the first thing is you're going to install 10.5.6 if you're installing off the 10.5.5 DVD or ISO um, after that's installed, this here is your Dell EFI. You double click it, it will open and ask you to set up the system. This is already set up, but after you update, you want to do this, make sure it's alright. It loads the drivers and things it needs for the cameras, sound, etc. if it doesn't work already. That's it. You install this and that's pretty much it. It runs just like OS X. You can see it runs fast. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.